Okay, so the first location of the day is a set of standing stones here on Arran, which are a bit of a walk away from the bus, but it's worth it. I love coming to see standing stones around Scotland. There are so many of them, and each of them have a different story, and each of them kind of date to different years, but generally Neolithic 5,000 years ago, and they're just awesome sites to come and visit. So if you imagine something like Stonehenge, right? That's the image you get around the world of the standing stones in the UK, but I think in Scotland our ones are better. Kind of reminds me of the landscape at Culloden. Very flat moor. Yeah, it's cool to see these things up close. There are big stones over there, but there's like lots of like groups of smaller ones as well. All right, my first impression of these things are they're pretty huge. Look at the size. Macri Moor includes over 11 different archaeological sites, all related to the Neolithic period from over 5,000 years ago. The sites here on Arran are linked closely to the various different sites we have around the UK. For example, Stonehenge in England, and there's also Clava Cairns near Inverness, and then the amazing standing stone circles we have around the Orkney Islands. Okay, so the driver has stopped at a place called Glen Sanox. Has a really awesome looking river running through it and some waterfalls, so it should be interesting to go for a bit of a walk here. You know, it's these glens with the heather and the rusty colour that really is where you can see the autumn colours in Scotland at this time of year. It's so pretty. Kind of right ginger colour, a bit like my beard all around us. Gingers, greens and purples. It is absolutely beautiful. So, I think the weather has scuppered some of the outdoor stuff we had planned to do today. Um, but you know what? Scotland is a funny place. Even on the bad weather days. Like, you can't judge the weather based on what it's doing at the present time because it never stays like that. So, it was raining horrendously this morning, like something awful. We had this wind coming off the sea, but now it's cleared up totally. Enough for us to walk out and come and see this glen. Anyway, I think the plans now is we're going to go and see one of the local castles and also, and I'm really excited about this, always excited about this, we're going to tour a whiskey distillery, the Arran Whiskey Distillery, which I've never ever seen before or tried. We are about to go off to the whiskey distillery here on Arran, which is not far away, but first of all, we absolutely needed to see this castle. It's basically an old ruined tower, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, so it is now time for something I have been really excited about all day, the whiskey distillery tour. I love doing whiskey tours. They are always, always good and informative because every whiskey distillery in Scotland is different from each other. And every single malt is slightly different. I think that is something that is really interesting and also very important to state because on my YouTube channel and on my videos, I get so many questions all the time from people who say to me, Sean, what is the best Scottish whiskey? I get that type of question all the time. And I always have to answer the exactly the same thing. There is no such thing as the best single malt whiskey. Because each of these distilleries that do single malts, they're all unique. They're all different. It doesn't mean the quality is any better or any worse in any of the different distilleries. It's just different. They all serve their own different recipes and different ways of doing it. And they all taste slightly different. Once you get to single malt level whiskey, they're all reasonably good. So it comes down to flavor and taste and preferences.
Thank you. I absolutely love doing whiskey distillery tours in Scotland. Each one will tell you their own different ways of doing things, which is really fascinating. They'll show you their equipment and they'll also tell you a little bit about their personal history as a distillery. That is delicious. That was so good. Aaron Water, the water of life here in Scotland, is single malt whiskey. It runs in our veins here, and I thoroughly enjoyed learning about the Isle of Arran distillery and the whiskey in their process. It was really good.